How amazing is it to be my first win ever? I can't even speak. I, you know, the thing about winning is it's not, you don't really care until you actually win. And then all of a sudden it really means a lot, but it's hard to take it in. I just feel so excited for Carter because um, he's the first male at 15 to win The Voice. And this is my first win, and we're in a global pandemic, so this is a pretty <laughs> monumental moment. And season, I think it's season COVID-19. Yes! That's what I've been calling it from day one. <laughs> but we just won, and I don't think that either one of us can really like digest that yet. Not like it's yet. too much, it's, like, it's shocking. I think I need to eat something, and then I'll digest it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I think what has amazed me most is I have a child that is my own that is um, around his age and the way that he can compose himself enough to make a vocal performance because that is so in control and so emotional and so in the moment um, it, it amazes me as an artist myself like I can never I can never do that on TV so like to watch him do it at that age with all the pressures that people don't even realize at home what these people are going through. Um, it's incredible, it's so inspiring. I think the shocking moment for me was the moment I turned my chair and saw a body that didn't represent the voice that was coming out of it. That was to me the biggest shock ever. And I'm so grateful that I pressed my button and the fact that Carter chose me over John Legend was like, what? Like, why? What are you doing? Like, it was almost like I felt bad for him for a second. <laughs> because everybody wants to work with John Legend, you know what I mean? And I always want to work with a young artist, I guess because, I guess because I've been around for a long time and I've, I've lived everybody's dream already. And I think to work with someone who has so much ahead of them, like, you know, even he's younger than I was when I started No Doubt. So it's just fun to be able to look back at the wake of all the things that I've done and, and, and be able to like kind of help inspire somebody else that has it all ahead of them. And it's just, it's magic. It's a magic thing. The show is a magic thing. And to be able to be a coach is a magic thing. So yeah, it's, it's like the perfect, um, the perfect person for me to coach right here. <laughs> Except for I could never imagine he could be as absolutely brilliant as he is. Well, I think this is going to be America's favorite as well. Uh, Rainbow Connection was monumental. I think it just broke and took everybody's hearts by surprise because that's a song that um, it wouldn't be a typical song. It's never been done on The Voice. And when I suggested the song to uh, the producers, I almost didn't say it because I was like, this is going to sound like a weird idea. <laughs> but it's a song that I used to sing to my kids um, to rock them to bed. like and. It's just like a, such a perfect song written by Paul Williams. And um, so it just seemed like a perfect moment. And it was, but I never in my wildest dreams thought he could walk out and perform it in pure perfection. Like it was from the moment his mouth opened to the end, everything about it from the emotion, just everything about it was so beautiful. I think what made this season unique, obviously, is that we're in a global pandemic, and the fact that uh, we were essential enough to be able to <laughs> shoot was like is a ridiculous gift for everybody. And um, music is so healing and so inspiring and so beautiful and so magical. And I think that um, to be able to be around all this music personally and see it live on stage again was just such an incredible, um, just moment for me but i'm sure that everybody across america people that probably never watched the voice were watching and that made this a really special season i think also being that it was such a small crew and that everybody kind of helped themselves and it was just everything was pared down it made it feel a lot less like almost like reality it melt it made it really real like there was there was no audience so it was very like um intimate in so many different ways um i think just the gratitude and the intimacy made it a very special season i don't know i think carter is he has his whole life you know this is just a tiny little moment in his life and i think the one thing that i learned through my incredible uh journey of doing music was that it's just a series of, of moments and the in-betweens are just as good as the wins. And um, I don't know if being in the garage at my dad's house <laughs> practicing was as good as being on the radio. I mean, I could, it's a toss up, you know? They're both incredible things. So um, 
I just hope that he realizes that and he can just, I think he needs to go write some songs. I think that he's gonna understand that that's the most fulfilling thing you can do as a vocalist is to write your own songs and to be able to connect to your heart and share that with people is literally, there's no other feeling, so. That's what I keep telling him over and over and I've told his mom to go get him some kind of piano lessons, guitar, <laughs> accordion, like whatever. <laughs> I'd be crying, but like I'm still in shock, and I'm still trying to like take it all in. Um, I can't, I, I can't put it into words. It's really, it's really because of her. She's been such a phenomenal coach, and she's helped me believe in myself and just encouraged me always. And I don't know, I can't really speak. It's, it's just the best feeling in the world. She's all about helping her artists tap into their identity, like who they want to be as, as a performer and as an artist. And she's definitely done that with me. She's given such great advice that I've taken to heart and that's really helped me through these process from the blinds to now. Um, and she's Gwen Stefani, I mean, and like she's just, I can't, I can't, I can't, speak right right now but um <laughs> of course not you just I, won I, yeah it's this is why i'm stumbling um i love her i really i really love Thank her you. she's the best she's the the greatest of all time <laughs> no i literally went in like okay let's have some fun it'd be awesome to just get a chair turn and let's see how far i could take this thing and like we always just kind of joked about oh my god imagine making it into the top five and like taking it all home and like we all just kind of said that and not really think much about it until I actually made it to the top five and I was like wait a second could this be like real like could this actually be a possibility and it happened and I'm just so incredibly grateful and I just remember our virtual meetings with all the contestants and like zoom because covid we couldn't meet in person and i'm just like wow it's cr i was saying to my mom like it's crazy that the winner is in here somewhere like not even digesting the fact that it could i could be one of those people <laughs> me too i'm like I've and my cheek and either. my cheeks hurt i can't stop smiling <laughs> i know that feeling <laughs> i think one of my favorite moments was actually the knockout because i think you say is where i think i showed my potential and who the type of artist I want to be and I want to become and uh, she, she picked me <laughs> um, which is always awesome and, um, and then like she said rainbow connection was really heartfelt for me um, just something about it I think I showed a different side a different artistry that she helped me unlock um, and it's just very like my most pure performance and it just kind of felt really raw and broken down I think that's what was really nice about it and yeah <laughs> he's, he's amazing he's 15 and he talks like that like i'm super old and i can't talk like that like what is i'm gonna take it day by day um i'm gonna start i'm gonna start writing music yes and i'm gonna start learning chords and i'm just gonna i want to get in the studio i want to start recording i want to start when covid passes i want to i want to sing for a live audience again because i've missed that so much i mean virtual audience is awesome but it's not the same it's not the same adrenaline as a live audience to perform in front of so i can't wait for covid to be over uh and yeah i this has been my dream since i was a little kid i really want to be a singer and not just for like the fame or anything but just to really touch people and move people with my voice and show my heart through my performances and I feel like I've done good with that so far, and I want to keep doing that. Awesome. I'm sad it has to be over, though. Like, this has been, like, the time of my life. <laughs>